hello guys welcome back today we're just going to do a simple project it's all about the diamond painting art and this is how it's going to look like i got two of them this is the first one and the second one is this one so i'm going to put them together basically um i did not put them together um my mom is the one who made them i just need to like assemble and frame them i have them for a couple of years now but i just didn't have any time to put them together um this one is going to be a little difficult i guess because it comes with nine panels and i have to like um attach them together so this is going to be a challenge for me so for everyone who doesn't know what this diamond painting art is all about, it's kind of like a cross stitch, but this time we're using like beads and it's like this. And later I'm going to show you the rest of the diamond painting art that my mom made and it's already framed and hanged on the wall. So basically it comes with these pieces and it comes with the numbers so it will tell us which one is the bottom the middle part and the top portion i just need to cut them some of them i already cut the corners but i still have to fix them so we'll put them together and see how it's gonna actually gonna look like okay, so i got this poster board and each each part has like a stick on at the back where I'm going to be like putting them together. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to cut them. Great. I think that's, that's how it looks like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Before I get confused, let me just do the three parts first. Say I would start like on the center, the top portion and on the center. And each of the pad has like a sticker on it. There we go. Okay, this is it. Okay, so this is the first three out of the nine parts of this bead art painting. And I like this poster board because it's very forgiving if you need to peel it off and redo it again. Um, this paper doesn't like get ruined whenever you need to do that. So I'm going to do the middle part now.
so all of the nine panels are put together but some of the beads got lost or got detached and i can't find the pieces but it was so nice of my mom to like give me the extra beads and even she even like labeled each of the panels like this is this um three panel set on the second row which means this is that one and the three panel set the first row which is that one and the third panel set which is this one so it's much easier for my for me to find where the beads or like just try to look for like the color that's missing in there and she even like gave me some of the tools in here so that it's gonna be easier for me to like put them together so I'm gonna be doing that right now So I already cut the corners of the posters and then I bought this frame, a plain black frame that has border in it. And I'm just going to put the border. I know there are like stuff that's going to be covered by the border but that's the way i like it and i'm just going to put a tape on the bottom so it won't be moving but while it's there i think i like this um, maybe move a little bit there you go I think that should be fine and let me fix some of the beads and then basically that's it and we're gonna be framing it Okay, so I'm done with the first piece and the second one, I think it's going to be much easier because it doesn't come with the panel. It just comes in one piece and this is how it looks like. And we're going to be framing them. I just got a small frame. I don't intend to like frame the whole, the whole thing and we'll see how it's going to look like and if it's going to be successful but this time it's not going to be a simple frame like the other um, art that i have here at home this one is more of like the classic old style so we'll see if this is going to work okay so i just need to adjust this art because this actual art is 18 by 27 and the frame is basically just how big is it 16 by 20 so i have to make sure i angle the art in right piece where i want it to be
Okay guys, so this is how it looks now. I think the diamond painting art that my mom made and the frame that I chose for the art itself goes together. I haven't hang it on the wall yet because I'm still going to be working on that area. And once I'm done do, doing my project in that area, you'll see this piece hanging there. These are the other pieces that my mom made it for me. There's three of them. One, I gave it to our very close friend because they're like family to us already. And then I'll show you the last piece that my mom made. Okay, so this is the other piece. And this is the last piece that my mom made for me. I had it framed or custom framed because it's very large. And it's so nice as well. Okay guys, so hopefully you like and enjoy this simple project that we did today and hope to see you soon again. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye!